Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the fourth group of protozoans which are known as sporozoa. So before this, we have talked about the other three groups, namely, first we have talked about the zooflagellates which have got flagella as the locomotory organ. We, secondly, we have talked about the sarcodina which has got pseudopodia or false feet as the locomotory organ. And the third group we have talked about was the ciliata which has got cilia as a locomotory on food collecting organ. Now this fourth group we will be talking about is the sporozoa. Now this sporozoa is the most simplest among all the four types. They have got a very simple body organization. Uh, like that of the other three groups, they are also endoparasitic which means they parasitize on some host, they are dependent on the host for their food and survival and nutrition and their endoparasite means they can stay inside the uh, surface or inside the cells of the host organism, they stay inside the body of the host organism and also they can be pathogenic. The organelles for locomotion and food capturing is absent. So this is one of the uh, biggest uh, differences between the other three groups and this group called sporozoa because other three they have got some locomotory organelles for their locomotion but this does not have any type of specialized organelles for the locomotion and also food capturing. Now they are heterotrophic in nutrition that means they cannot make their own food because of the absence of photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll. And they can be saprozoic in nutrition that is they can digest the food products outside their body then absorb the simpler molecules which they have digested by the help of digestive enzymes into their body. So this is a saprozoic mode of nutrition. The very important characteristics is that they can show alteration of generations. Now what do we mean by alteration of generations? Now these type of sporozoa they can alter their uh, reproductive capability. For example, initially if a sporozoid they can they start their reproduction through the asexual mode of reproduction. Now the next phase of reproduction can be followed by the sexual mode and then again it can come back to its asexual mode of reproduction. So every time it reproduces it can alternate between the sexual and the asexual mode of reproduction and this phenomena is termed as the alteration of generation. Now, the life cycle of these type of sporozoids, they involve the formation of haploid cells which are termed as the sporozoids. So hence actually we can understand this group is known as the sporozoa. So in this video, we have talked about the fourth group of protozoans which are sporozoa and we have also talked about some of the important characteristics of this group of organism. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.